All right, we are back with part two, getting into the main portion of the story or the campaign. Let's see what we got from here. Damn, you ugly. Hey, it's a trend ocean. That's kind of cool. We might make it before his speech ends. <laughs> Look at the purple and yellow droid. That's pretty cool. I learned my lesson the first 12 times. <laughs> Ash, the speech is starting. I'm not one for speeches. So I'll just say... I'm honored to assume command of the Temperance in this fleet. Wow, it's come Union's a long way. Reputation for bravery and integrity is unrivaled, which is why, effective immediately, we have been reassigned to an initiative codenamed Project Starhawk. Starhawk. Interesting. Then those rumors about a secret project are true. What do you think it is, huh? Some kind of weapon? The key to victory. If it helps end the war, who cares? I care. I like to know who I'm working for. The good guys first. Typical Trend Ocean. The only people in the galaxy who don't have a death mark on you. <laughs> ah, Grace. The day ain't over yet. <sighs> Come on. Back to the temperance. We can meet the new boss. And anyone else he's bringing along. All right. Project Starhawk. I wonder what that's going to be. I don't think it would be a weapon. That's not really like the Rebel Alliance's style. Ah, there you are. Ardo said to expect you. I'm Zarel the Sage, Chief Mechanic, and this here's the Temperance, my pride and joy. I imagine you're excited to join the action. Speaking of, here's the rest of your squadron. Hey, Gani, I got your new pilot over here. You go ahead. I'll meet you in there. Welcome yeah, yeah. you even uglier with the helmet off. I'm Kyra Kuva. You can call me Gunny. Happy to have you on the team. Let's talk after the briefing, eh? Cool robotic arm, though. One of the best outfits in the New Republic. Hope you can live up to it. Anyway, follow them into the briefing room. I think our new commander's waiting for you in there. Lit. Up. Oh, uh, that way. Okay, so there's no actual, like, walking. Ah, you arrived. Excellent. Otto, meet our new Vanguard 5. Oh, the one who saved your skin at Foster Haven. Ardo Baradai, Fleet Intelligence, a pleasure. I heard they rewarded you with a posting to Chandrilla. A real honor. Very safe. But a good pilot shouldn't just gather dust. I needed people I can trust. And I figured you'd want to get back into the action. Huh. There's no shortage of that around here. Right. Let's get you briefed. Welcome back to the front line, Vanguard 5. What happens if they liked their quiet little detail? We should get started. Okay. Just gonna move that there. As you've no doubt experienced. The Empire is jamming communications across the sector. I fear these blackouts could be a prelude to invasion. Vanguard Squadron, I need you to split up to solve this. Frisk and Grace, bring our new pilot to the Brental system's borders. The scouts we sent to investigate haven't reported in. Find out what happened to them. Then regroup with your squadron near the planet Cavus. Gunny and Keo, that's where you're headed. If I were still an Imperial, well, I'd send jamming ships there. Knowing the Empire, I expect they're using these jamming vessels to disrupt our long-range comms. They'll have TIE squadrons in tow. Destroy all Imperial squadrons and jammers. Communications must be restored for Project Starhawk's future. When you've succeeded, regroup and return to the Temperance. Let's see how you do, Vanguard Squadron. Okay. Got a moment. You're looking for a custom job. 
Here we go. Oh, that's cool. Actually watching it like close down on you. Power Wicked. Check. All right. I'm loading in your astromech droid now. Keep an eye on it. Hey, buddy. Quiet, tin can. We got a pre-flight check to do. Well, rude. Leave him alone. He didn't do anything. Do we have to do this every time we get in our ship? Because that would be super annoying. Okay, bye. Yeet. Form up on me. Here we go. Away we go. Stay close, Vanguard Five. You remember your mission parameters, Vanguard Squadron? Find the scouts, smash the jamming ships. Get back before the cantina closes. Hmm. I think Commander James skipped that in the briefing. Thanks, Ardo. We'll be careful. Regroup at Cadiz once you find our missing pilots, all right? See you soon. Good luck, you two. All right, now where am I going? Our jump point's just ahead. Punch it. No. This never gets old, hey Grace. Never. Let's go. No scouts showing on sensors. She'd be zooming. Gunny and Kia will take care of that shortly. We should investigate the signal and regroup with them. Oh, it's getting cloudy. I don't know what that is. I hope the scouts are all right. Me too, Grace. Me too. It's weird seeing a trend ocean like sympathetic let's slow it down or empathetic whoa oh, heck. our scouts didn't make it empire must have found him first if that's the case where is the empire vanguard five scan the debris Do I have to scan it again? Up a second signal. No. Let's check it out. I'm on ya. Follow me. I don't like this, Grace. I hear you. Something 
Something's not right. If we're lucky, something survived the attack. Stay ready for anything. Wait, that's not a new Republic signal. It's the Empire. Imperial. Yep. Oh, dang. Oh, my. out of here. Feels a little bit better now that I up my sensitivity. Are you sure we're on navy point? Okay. Hopefully they don't know we're coming. Let's do this right. For the scouts we lost. Lead the way, Vanguard 5. Whatever comes next, we face it together. Look. Two Imperial jamming ships ahead. No sign of Gunny or Keel. That's the source of our comms blackout. There's gonna be ties. Yep. Frisk, bomb those jamming ships. Sure thing, Grace. I'll soften them up. You two finish them off. Sounds good. Missile evasion. You can evade a missile by making several sharp turns in direction. In different directions. Divert powered engines and set your throttle at half speed to make this easier. Okay. I'm getting rinsed. Okay. Let's try again. Maybe I should take out the ties first. Ships 
Am I getting locked on? Is there someone behind me? It's hitting me. I don't know where these ties are. Got one. Another one there. I'm in their ah, I wasn't worried. That was easy. Alright, I'm getting the hang of it. Now I just gotta find them. Where are they? Oh, there's one. Joining formation. Oh, tail. Back this way somewhere? There he is. And he goes. Alright, the missile evasion thing I'm starting to get the hang of. Still trying to figure out the rest of it though. Did I just go through it? I think I went, I didn't. I missed. There we go. Alright, there's a lot of people here. Woo. Okay. I'm coming. Allow me to introduce myself. Over here somewhere? Is it? Okay. Requesting a resupply. When needed, you can request a resupply droid from your support starfighter. A supply droid will temporarily attach to your ship, preparing your hull to restock your armaments. Okay. Cool, so holding triangle, you can basically just get a hard reset. If you're in trouble. Which is good. Vanguard, we have an Imperial cruiser protecting the last of the jammers. Taking down these 
ships ain't gonna be easy. Not while the cruiser has a missile launcher. We'll keep our countermeasures ready. What's our play? If we take out the jammers first, we can call the temperance for reinforcements. That's why you're in charge, Gunny. Vanguard 5, focus on the jammers. Okay. Alright, here we go. Countermeasures. To deploy countermeasures, keep an eye on incoming missile meter and press circle just before impact. I'm getting pelted. I like that. Countermeasures is good. Switching between like the, the different like shields, speed, and firepower. Really cool touch. I like it. You're too kind. Get out. You're in the clear. Here I am. They have a lock. That's just rude. Man, it's gotta be almost done. There we go, that's that one done. These ones should be pretty easy. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Thank you, Commander Javes. 
We'll celebrate a job well done at the cantina. Come on, Vanguard, let's get out of here. Nice. <laughs> Just volunteers for us to pay for the first round. Hmm. Interesting. Who is it? I feel like I know who it's going to be, but I could be wrong. Mission complete. Though losing the scouts is a blow to Vanguard Squadron, you have pushed back an Imperial incursion and restored communications across the Bormia sector. Vanguard Squadron's next mission lies ahead. Well, we got the mission complete. Efficiency medal, enduring service medal, defense breaker. Okay, I guess they're like different levels of completion, maybe. Completed mission one. Completed mission one in 16 minutes or less. Completed mission one without dying. Destroyed all TIE fighters before taking out the jammers. Destroy Imperial cruiser jammers before the... Okay. So there's like different, I guess, challenges to do throughout as well that you can kind of go with. Sick. Very cool. What have you got in store for us now? The Empire won't push into our territory again anytime soon. Thanks to our new pilot. Yeah, and thanks to the rest of us. This isn't a race, all right? We're a team. You're right, Gunny. But still, nice flying out there. Thanks. Speaking of fancy flying, I was thinking about the Dragon Void run from a few years back. You see that one, Keo? Oh, sure. I caught the whole thing on the hollow net. Yeah, me too. I watched the entire thing, but for the life of me, I can't recall who won. I think it was one of the Ash Queens. No, wait. Delon Vuk. Yeah, that's it. Boy, he was something else back then. In fact, the only pilot I've seen that comes close since is Keo here. Oh, come on. Delon Vuk's got nine championships under his belt. I've only got five. Well, on still his pretty good. Commander Javes has someone special waiting for us in the briefing room. Okay. Let's get in there and find out what's Should next. probably have done that first instead of talking about some random base. But, cool. Let's go. Oh, it's Wedge. It's Wedge. I helped Talus Group chase it away from a medical convoy towards Yavin. It's pinned in the upper atmosphere with no hyperdrive. There are too many fighters for Talus Group to handle alone. Might work out for both of us. Come, meet our visitor. Where Gentil is, Rogue Squadron. I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a calm through. I have a Star Destroyer problem that Vanguard might be able to help me solve. And we need a Star Destroyer for Project Starhawk, intact. Now we prove what Vanguard's made of. Wedge, if you would. Okay. As you may have overheard, Talos Group has cornered the Imperial Star Destroyer Victorum. Above the planet Yavin. They're in tough, but it's presented a great opportunity for us to jump in and not only disable that Star Destroyer, but to seize control. So, first, we need to give ourselves some cover by knocking out the turrets. Naturally, if we Makes can also sense. take out the targeting system, that'll buy us even more time. Next, we need to prepare the Star Destroyer for boarding. We'll need to find a potential breach point in the Victorum's hull, preferably near the bridge. Once you find a good spot, bombard it until the hull is breached. However, we can expect that the Victorum still has plenty of TIE fighters. They will try to stop us. Once the skies are clear, we can bring in the boarding team. While our troops capture the bridge, Vanguard will defend the exterior from reinforcements. Once the boarding team has seized the bridge, 
and is in control of the Star Destroyer. We rendezvous with the Templars. Okay, I think I accidentally made stealing a Star Destroyer sound simple. Let's hope it is. Seems straightforward enough. Sorry for the speedy introduction. But Talus Group was counting on me to get reinforcements fast. Your commander says you have talent. Enough to steal a Star Destroyer and get away with it. We'll see. Normally, I'd have Rogue Squadron for this. But General Sindula gave me a temporary assignment to Project Starhawk. Ugh, Hera. Meanwhile, Rogue is handling... Well, that's classified too. <laughs> General Sindula keeps us busy. Interesting. Your commander and I have something in common. I once flew for the Empire too. At Skystrike Academy. Turning to the Rebellion was the smartest move I ever made. I wish more of my friends had done the same. It's cool that they bring that up. But uh, Talus Group's waiting for us. Okay. What about these guys? What are you guys talking about? You guys having a chat? The Star Destroyer? Aren't you tossing them in the deep end a little early, Lyndon? Vanguard can handle it. Can't you? Besides, Project Starhawk needs that Star Destroyer for... Well... You know. Wedge made a name for himself at the Battle of Yavin. He knows that system better than the Empire ever will. You'll be fighting on the Rebellion's old turf. So if Wedge has any advice, you'd be smart to listen. I will. You know, a wounded Krakana can still bite. Just watch yourself around that Star Destroyer, huh? Get out there as soon as you can. All right, I think that's where we're going to leave episode two. Uh, obviously, I said I'm going to do it mission per mission, so that's how it's going to be uploaded. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below what you're thinking of the story so far. Again, we've played the prologue and the first mission, and we're going to jump into the second mission very, very soon. So make sure you guys comment, subscribe, do all the things you would normally do, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for tuning in. May the Force be with you always.